Welcome to the new section Understanding DAS Carriers. The first video in this section is Introduction to Blocked Algorithms. We will be discussing the following topics in this video. First, we'll take a look at DAS Carriers. Then, we will move on to get an overview of what exactly are blocked algorithms. And then, we'll uh, finally discuss an example of blocked algorithm on a sample array. So let's get started. First, we need to understand what exactly are DASC arrays. DASC arrays are specialized data structures provided by DASC that can be stored in chunks. The idea behind DASC arrays is that it consists of multiple NumPy arrays which are stored in chunks. So as you can see in this image, this is a grid of basically multiple NumPy arrays. So each block in this DASC array is an individual NumPy array. And this collection of NumPy arrays is one single DASC array. So we have broken down a very large NumPy array which we could not fit directly into our memory into small manageable chunks. The interface for DASC arrays is similar to NumPy API, which makes it easy for developers to use DASC arrays. Also, DASC has specialized block algorithms that work on these DASC arrays to perform computations. We'll be discussing about block algorithms in the next slide. DASC also makes use of multiple cores in your system to parallelize the computation over these DASC arrays. Now, since you can break a large array into smaller manageable chunks. So this allows us to make use of out of memory computation. This means that suppose if your RAM is 4 GB, you can still load data sets or data or arrays larger than 4 GB by basically breaking it into small manageable chunks. Now that we have an overview of DASC arrays, let's discuss what are blocked algorithms. Blocked algorithms are algorithms that basically work on chunks or blocks of data. They break the computation into smaller manageable parts, then move on to aggregating the results over these chunks. DASC provides specialized blocked algorithms to work with DASC arrays, DASC data frames, etc. For reference, you can uh, refer the original paper by Rockland Matthew to get a more detailed overview over blocked algorithms and DASC arrays. Now that we have an overview of blocked algorithms and DASC arrays, let's discuss it over an example. Suppose I have this array consisting of 7, 10, 20, 10, 1, 5, 7, 9, 10. Now, for the sake of simplicity, just assume that I cannot load this array into my memory. So what I'll do is, I'll break it into chunks of three. So I have three chunks. First chunk contains 7, 10 and 20. The second chunk contains 10, 1, 5. And the last chunk contains 7, 9 and 10. Now suppose if I want to perform the sum function, what I'll do is, after breaking this array into chunks, I'll perform sum over these individual chunks. So the first sum comes out to be 7 plus 10 plus 20 that is 37. The sum for the second chunk is 10 plus 1 plus 5 that is 16. And for the final chunk we have 7 plus 9 plus 10 that is 26. Next I will add or aggregate the results of these individual chunks to get the final chunk. So I have 37 plus 16 plus 26, that is 79. So this is a very, very simplified example of breaking down your array into manageable chunks and then performing operations. In real life, you have more complex graphs or use cases, but for now, I think this will be sufficient. So that's it for this lecture. Let's have a quick recap of what we have learned. DASC arrays are specialized data structures in DASC, which allows users to load larger than memory data by breaking it into manageable chunks. 
Dask makes use of block algorithms to perform computation on Dask arrays. It also parallelizes computation over Dask arrays by using the multiple cores available in your CPU. For reference, you can refer these links for more information.